I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes till the biggest battle of our professional lives all comes down to today. Either we heal as a team or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. I look around, I see these young faces, and I think, I mean, I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh, I pissed away all my money, believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in America. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, Life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. <laughs> On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. Fight. It's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. That's the team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team, or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do? <laughs> This kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. 
Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues. Who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has died. One day, you got to graduate life. You can't always be the pupil, you gotta be the master. You gotta be the guy that's creating the material for others to try to study from. You can't always ask a question, you're asking a question because you don't believe in the journey you're about to embark on. Mentally, you must believe it before you physically start it. Otherwise, it will never reach prosperity. Your questions will be figured out. When you hit the rock bottom and you fail and you hit the fucking pavement, you'll learn to fucking catch yourself. That's the lesson you never forget. Stop trying to learn from everybody else. Believe in yourself as enough of a reason to transform into something great. Stop sitting back saying, yeah, man, that'd be cool, that'd be cool, I wanna be this, I wanna be that, grab your fucking nuts and be it. To get where Arnold got in life, you have to be willing to step on a few fingers and step on a few friends and fuck a few people over. You don't get to that level without that. In this world, you're either the Barracuda or you're that little minnow swimming around like this. And Arnold's the Barracuda. Come on, come on, come 100, come on. If your daddy got a PhD, you can at least do what? You can at least graduate from high school. And let me tell you something, I told my son, I ain't trying to put no pressure on you, but it's been 60 years since a male in our family has graduated from high school. So I'm gonna need you to take your senior year serious. We got a lot riding on you. And I'm telling you, greatness is here, but it ain't on Cam's shoulders no more. It ain't on Farley's shoulder no more. It ain't on Bo Jackson's shoulder no more. Now greatness is on whose shoulder? That's why I wake up every morning at 2 o'clock, 2.30. Cause I got my mama counting on me. I got my sister counting on me. I got my son and my daughter counting on me. I got a world that gets up every morning and watches me. I got little kids who don't believe that they can do it. When they saw me, they thought now nah, they can do it. So I get up every morning at 2.30, 3 o'clock. Why? Cause greatness is upon me. Dr. King is dead. Malcolm X is dead. I'm that new guy. I'm that new inspiration. I'm the guy you look at when your daddy ain't in your life, when your daddy in prison. I'm that guy that comes to your high school and tell you, you can make it happen. Greatness is upon you, you better act like it. I've always been told that I'm too small. I'm not big enough. I'm not fast enough. I don't have what it takes. I prepare so no one can take what is mine. No one can replace my mind my heart. To be the best and stay there, sweat is necessary. I'm older. Of course I'm older. That's the beauty of it. 16 years plus. Different level of wisdom, different level of understanding, different level of punishment. I want to live long after my records have fallen, long after my rings have tarnished. And whatever you got to do to make sure you chase your legacy every second of your life, who would you be remembered? How would you be remembered? Why wouldn't you fight for the greatest achievement ever? Leave your mark to endure forever.